Life is a game of inches. I know why I should have. I should have looked up. If you guys have seen Any Given Sunday, that is a bad movie. It's a bad it? movie. I'm not, you know what? All, I will say Oliver Stone, out of all like the prestigious directors, I don't like any of his movies. I do not like. What else has he done? I, can, I mean, uh, I know the name, obviously. JFK, Platoon, um. Uh, natural born killers. Okay. Uh, like he just, uh, he's just not my he guy. He was of a time. He was probably, it sounds like he was of a time. Yeah. Um, but, uh, if you guys have ever seen, go, go, you know, pause this real quick and go <laughs> watch, oh, no, no. <laughs> go watch Al Pacino give the game of inches speech from any given Sunday. Oh man. It's, that's good stuff right there. Who that is. Who ever thought to put Al Pacino in a football movie though? I don't know. It didn't work until that scene. Until sure. that, like he gives a pregame speech before the you know the final game of the movie. And right. man, it's it's classic stuff. It's great right. stuff. Maybe it's it. Maybe that's what it all boils down to. Is that that that's why it's it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's. I should have done the ba 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 ba. What is the Clear. Super Bowl theme though? It's different, right? I don't know if the, one I, I do Monday. miss. I, I know Hank Williams Jr. said some pretty awful things, but God, I, I miss that. I don't know what Monday. you're talking about. He's the guy that sang the "Are you ready for some football?" Like that was the the Monday Night Football song. So oh. great! It was a banger. And they tried <laughs> to bring it back this year with like Snoop Dogg and. Some, uh, was it Morgan Wallen or so, I, some country singer? And it's like not bad, but I do love the the Sunday Night Football Carrie Underwood song. I didn't know, like this is I don't know how I missed this song because I listened to classic rock, I listened to everything growing up. I didn't know uh, the because like the song is I've been waiting all day for a Sunday, and it's like that. What's her, what's her name? Is that the uh, Joan Jett song? Uh, oh, I don't know that one. Uh, people will know what I'm talking about, but I didn't know that song existed. So when I heard that song, I was like, oh, this is the Sunday Night Football song, and it wasn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold on. You're assuming that our audience is as um, aware of sports That's true. As you. That's true. Uh, the way Scott descri- – he didn't describe you as this, but he described other podcasters that I know from the Star Trek world as, like, this bro geek thing. And then I retroactively <laughs> applied that to you. You are definitely a I bro am. geek. And I am. These guys are my favorite people on the planet, so it's really not a ding. It might be a ding in Scott's book for those guys, but, like – He's like, I just don't get the bro geek thing, but but I understand. I know exactly what he means, and you're definitely a bro geek, and we want to welcome you into this world. Because if I were a boy, I would have been a bro geek. Yeah, sports are great. Sports are I, fun. I loved. We were a sports family that also played Super Mario Brothers on the weekend. You know, like we did it all. I wished I could be in football. My dad wouldn't let me. So I was the water girl for a a semester. It was great. I loved it and definitely got harassed. It was very bad. (laughs) Yeah. Well, because I was also dorky. I had, I had a really rough high school and middle school career, (laughs) but I loved me some sports. I loved like glancing over at ESPN during like the from like noon to 3 p.m. So I could like talk to clientele in my deli that would come in about what happened in football or basketball. Like, nice. I really loved that stuff. But lately, I really have, I have no idea what's going on in the sports world pretty much. So, well, for those who are listening at a later date, we are recording this on Super Bowl Sunday. Or, like, are we allowed to say, do we have to say the big game? Is it, is it copyrighted? Well, we're not monetized, so unless they're coming after us. Super Bowl it is, baby! <laughs> yeah. uh, so I thought uh, we had... Uh, we had a guest lined up, uh, and I couldn't make that time. Uh, so I was like, let's do some sports talk here, um, and we're going to do a draft. We're going it's- to draft Lord of the Rings characters. Now, 
there wasn't enough to do a full I was like let let me draft defense you draft offense no let's both draft the same we were going back and forth about it and I decided because if you guys don't watch there's um, a pro bowl so there's obviously today's the Super Bowl which is the championship game but if you are a good player throughout the season, you get nominated to go to the Pro Bowl. And oh, before... It's kind of yeah. like the All-Stars for... Uh, yeah, it's an yeah. All-Star game. The All-Star game is the easiest way to say it. Um, before, like, it would be like three quarters of everybody taking it easy. And then I think if you win the Pro Bowl, uh, if you're on the winning team, you get like $100,000. And then if you lose, you get $50,000. Um, the really win-win yeah, situation. Not, not, but like... You would see guys, and it used to be the same in, in the NBA too. You would see the guys turn it on in the first, fourth quarter. Like you would oh. see them play because they want that extra fifty grand or however much the the price uh, the the price pool was. My cat has the zoomies, um, <laughs> and it used to be like there's some Pro Bowl uh, clips out there of like big hits, you know, really great plays and stuff like that. But in and I can't blame them, but in the latter years, they just don't play. Like, is uh, it because they? It's so dangerous. Yeah, they could get injured, and that's the thing it's is, not I can't. Worth it. I can't blame them for you know, like, because you know, one twisted ankle in in a contract year, and you're out of the league. Like, especially football, where it's one bad play in practice, wherever. Like you see it, you know, this year. If you guys want to do yourself a favor, uh. Just follow Adam Schefter on Twitter during training camp, which is like, oh no, uh, August. So many ACL tears of like everybody. That's so actually it's just, heartbreaking. That's like someone's it's life terrible. changing in that moment. Yeah, it's it's honestly terrible. Uh, so I can't blame them for not playing. But this year they decided to do a seven on seven flag football game instead. So like That's there'd be no so contact. Smart. Yeah, because people want to see the skill players. Like you can still honor the, you know, the linemen, you know, the big boys, uh, and you know they still get the the game checks and stuff like that. But you know, people want to see the skill players and goof around and stuff like that. So it was really fun to watch. So I thought we would do that. We do a seven on seven. So if you guys want to draft along at home Ooh. for the offense, we are doing a quarterback, a running back, uh, two wide receivers, and two linemen. And we're going to start with the offense. And then for defense, we are going to do two pass rushers. So it's two defensive linemen, two linebackers, two cornerbacks, and one safety. This sounds really good. Safety protects. Uh, Safety is like there. a guy who like roams around the middle. Like, so you have like a cornerback or we can just do like three defensive backs. No, no. Safety is great because um, we'll talk about like those certain roles that I don't remember exactly, but I also, mm. I, listen, I played NFL Blitz and I also played yeah. that, um, that robot one. Robot one. There was a robot game where they pit droids against each other and it was all, it was basically NFL Blitz, but with robots on like SNES or something. So anyway, I remember there's like, you have to like kind of anticipate what the other person's play is going to be. So you need like someone that can be modular. Yeah. Go, oh crap. They're, Going heavy on the left side, that's probably where they're going to rush or whatever. Exactly. Okay. I gotcha. Let's get started. So for our draft list, we have Aragorn. We have Gandalf. We have Legolas, Gimli, Pippin, Sam, Frodo, Boromir, Elrond, Arwen, Eowyn, Eomer, Theoden, Soromon, Elrond, Haldir, Thorin, Bilbo, Bard the Bowman, mm -hmm. Thranduil, Toriel, Jess's favorite, Celeborn, <laughs> Jess's second favorite, Galadriel, <laughs> Faramir, Gollum, Radagast, wow. Bayorn, Treebeard, wow. and wow. Merry. Wow. wow. So we have some bangers out here, guys. <laughs> You're so right about my favorite. I can't wait to pick her last. Can't wait. Jess is hey, going to be... Jess is going to pick Toriel and be like, sorry, Toriel, you're cut, and then pick somebody <laughs> else. I'm going to tear her ACL right away. Right, right. <laughs> oh, her career just ended. Oh, no. <laughs> um, all right, let's flip it. Let's see who gets the first pick of the draft. All right, so Jess, you got heads and you got tails. This no one steal fair. my Ralph's barcode. 
Uh, three, two, one. Tails. Tails it is. Oh, let's go. So Jess has the first pick. So I know like in drafts, you can draft whoever you want, wherever you want. We are going to go position by position just so I can keep track of everything. Um, so Jess, we are drafting. Who is your quarterback? Wow. Okay. I think, I think I want, this is bad. This is bad. I don't, I actually didn't put any The pressure, the pressure it's, of the first overall, like you want the first overall pick, but it's a lot of pressure to pick correctly. Cause you know, all of our 10 listeners are like screaming into their, their car stereo. Like you have to pick so-and-so for quarterback. Cause also it's worse. It's worse, like, it would be one thing if, like, okay, I'm picking between Brett Favre and Eli and all these guys that are quarterbacks. If I choose one for this position, I'm totally DQing them for another position they could be potentially great at. Yes, once once they're off the board, they're off the board for everything. No redrafting, no, like... Wow. It, there's no Deion Sanders. There are. There are plenty of Deion Sanders in Lord of the Rings. But for this draft, one player, one position. When they're gone, they're gone. Okay. Yes. I'm going to choose Boromir because I oh, feel... Oh, <laughs> wow. I know. Okay. Because I feel like he's he's got the pizzazz to be a quarterback. The pizzazz? <laughs> he's going to... He's got a Buck of Tostinos commercial as well as get that ball. He might not be, like, the best aim. Because, like, obviously I could think about Legolas, but I think it's going to be a waste to put him on, like, quarterback or something. I think Boromir could get it done. Okay. What's your QB? Did I just ruin your whole... Oh, no, not at all. I never would have drafted Boromir as quarterback. I, I had Boromir, like, I think maybe for, like, linebacker or something like that. I had That's him on the defense on for him. sure. That's a, yeah, he's a leader. He wants to be a Linebacker's leader. lead. Are you kidding me? I'm just saying it's a waste. There's... It's a waste. So of him. I'm I'm between, like, three people right now for okay. my quarterback. Um, but I'm going to stick thing with is, my like, gut. I, I wanted to, like talk to you about who I was thinking, but I was like, I don't want to give him ideas. No, you can't. You can't strategize at all. Like, I'm not even going to tell you my three because I don't... I, uh, but I am going to go with Elrond for my quarterback. Okay, that was an instinct of mine. I hate you. <laughs> uh, one, because wow. he's Elrond, and two, Elrond has the gift of foresight. He can see what the defense is doing over here, so, you know, just just saying... Uh, this is a leader who has led armies. So does, so does Denethor, but I don't see that old fogey on the. You can't the list. have you, if you want uh, Denethor for your freaking coach because he's got the Palantir on the sideline. Then maybe, but <laughs> who is he? Bill Belichick and the cheating Patriots over there. <laughs> Deflate Gate, let's right? go. <laughs> Palant Gate over there. <laughs> But no, I, I I was between a few people for my quarterback, but I'm I'm going with Elron. Okay. I like I him at the right. position. What is he? Six eight? So He's huge. He's huge. He's huge. It's he's fast. Uh, you know, if you guys have never watched flag football, quarterbacks do scramble a lot and they run. Elron can run if he needs to. And again, the man has the gift of foresight. He can read a defense like nobody's business. Like Tom okay. Brady who? Oh, <laughs> All right, I feel Jess. that way just because of who he is anyway. All right, what's next? Jess, you are drafting a running back. So a running back will be the one who gets the pass from the QB. They can, they like in, typically they're getting handed the ball. Uh, they're sh- like, they from can From the be QB, sh- right? From the QB. But like in, in flag football, they do go out for passes a lot. They catch passes. They run the ball. They're very they're short utility to mid player. distance. Yeah. Like, they are okay. fast, though. Um, but they also kind of got to be wily, right? Like, they got to go make it look like they didn't get the pass or mm-hmm. or something. Or they got to be able to go up the middle of the line. or like So they're getting hits and running, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe Boromir would have been better for that. But I don't know. He's, he's just not got the... You know what? You know what? I'm going Faramir. Oh, the brothers. Okay. Because they love each other. They have a special bond <laughs> that can communicate without saying anything. 
<laughs> and they're oh gonna get it out God. the middle. <laughs> they love each other. <laughs> they're on the same team, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good. This is so much better than I ever would have imagined. I can't believe the second you suggested this as an episode, I was like, oh, this is what our whole podcast should be forever. Right? It's so great. Yeah, I do regret doing uh, everybody as cars that one episode. We really should have stretched that out. Oh. And like every time we did a character, we we did their car. Oh, but, uh, no, yeah. that was fine. That was that was, we can always do we can always do, you know, everybody is flowers another time. So Yeah, that's true. All right. So my running back, you said it, they're short, they're sprinters. I got Gimli as my running back. Really? Absolutely. Like That's surprising. No, see on the on the on the fakes, you're not gonna know if he has the ball because he's so low to the ground. Yes, yes. You're, you can't tackle him. Like, he's so shifty. And again, yes. dwarves are natural sprinters. I only need Gimli for, like, 10 to 15 yards. Wow. That's like, a, he even says it. Like, I can't run long distances. <laughs> cannot run long distances. And it's just like, I don't think he'd fit well. On, like, maybe. No, I don't think he'd fit well on a defense. But I know he is going to be a great running back. I think See, I he can. I think you're wrong because he's so bad for morale. And he would be perfect for the. He doesn't like, need to defense. be morale. He Not everybody be needs for- to be rah rah. <laughs> Not everybody needs. He, he needs to get the ball and he needs to go forward. That's all I need him to do. He can but even wear the same in- helmet. <laughs> he's gonna be distracting. He's gonna be like, "Come on, guys!" <laughs> he's gonna be talking crap. I don't know. Good. <laughs> you need that guy on your team. I think I think you made a great choice, and I'm trying to make you feel bad about it. <laughs> exactly, yeah, just a hater, just a hater over there. Wow. So I obviously am in the lead right now. It's oh, not I don't even think close. that's true. I don't think that's true. I got the blood. You line, you the have blood artsy line. fartsy Faramir as your running back. He's gonna get hit by my linebacker one time. And he's gonna be like, father. <laughs> I need to go he write can, some poetry. He is util- He can do it all. If you don't think he can do it all, then you're wrong. That Faramir is the best of us. Not on the football field. I don't know. <laughs> he did. He did almost die. <laughs> he did almost die. <laughs> he did almost get burned to death. <laughs> you have uh, some arrow magnets as your quarterback <laughs> and running back right now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't talk about that when we were talking they're, about. Uh, they're pretty big targets, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jesus. I meant to mention this when we were talking about the Rank and Bass, Return of the King. They just repeatedly shoot Boromir in the same <laughs> spot. <laughs> it's brutal. They gotta save that budget. Like, ah! 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 <laughs> just driving the first arrow in deeper right. every time. It's unbelievable. At least the orcs are great shots, though. Um, okay, so now we are drafting wow. our two wide receivers. So, Jess, These guys, who's your first wide receiver? So, what's the difference between, like, a... Re- uh, like a there's different types of receivers. Yeah, but, you know... Uh, for for us, it can be anything. Like, but what's a usually, wide receiver do? What's like? What's their goal? They catch. They run routes. They catch passes. Uh, they're usually like taller. There's there are slot wide receivers that are little you know shorties that like run in the middle and stuff like that. So what receivers thinking, can be anything. But but I'm thinking on the outside mostly and yeah. like going long distance if needed. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um. I think I think I I think I'm gonna put like Tariel in that. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I know, got it. I know. Jess I she, actually drafted Tariel. Guys, stop the presses. It. Am I going to hurt our team by not acknowledging someone's natural abilities? I'm not gonna Je- do that. I think Jess is like hoping she's gonna go across the middle and just get <laughs> blown up, and then she'll, she, Toriel's gonna be in concussion protocol, and Jess is gonna be like, hey, "Get out of here! You're, you're, go Take bag some people. groceries. You're you're cut. <laughs> have fun of the uh, have fun of the car dealership, Toriel. How kind of me though to give her this opportunity to prove me wrong, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Sound like uh, a Disney exec right now. Oh, look at us! So uh, with women, <laughs> we'll let her direct. We've one got the movie. first gay character. Don't worry, he's gonna look at the camera once. He's gonna dance with a man for three seconds on screen. But I promise, he's he's LGBTQ plus. <laughs> Here's the thing about Tariel. I could go for any elf, but who do we see go running more than anyone? She like runs long. That's how she gets places, you yeah, know. But we're not we're not drafting marathon runners here. Can she cut? Can she? You're catch? just mad. You're just mad. That yeah, I'm mad. That was my wide receiver one right there, man. Wow, I feel good. I feel good about what I did yeah, here today. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I just wanted to get you. I think you did. I don't think you want her on your team. You just don't want me to have her. Is is there any other better strategy? Oh I put you in the pocket God. right now. Okay, whatever. Freaking hater. All right, so now you get WR. Let's go. We want WR. All right. Um, hmm, I'm looking. You know what? I love women too. So I'm drafted Arwen. That's wrong. Boom. You're wrong. It's a bad placement for her. It's bad. How? Tell me how. Because I wanted her. Good. <laughs> I got the well-written female character. <laughs> you didn't get the afterthought? <laughs> uh, let's put her in there. Here's I the thing. Get- Arwen's doing work if she's on a horse. I don't know that she's a runner. She snuck up on Aragorn. You don't Is think she can want? run? I think you run want her then as a running back. I think no. maybe... This no, isn't think... a stealth mission. She's light on her feet. She's going to be breaking ankles. But that's slow movement, bro. Slow movement. I think You don't know mistake. that? You don't know how fast like you can sneak up on somebody? Have you played Metal Gear Solid? You don't need to you don't need to be I'm playing Ghost of Shima. I can stealth real quick. <laughs> hey, I got sneak pants on on my Minecraft character, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sneaky. What, I don't remember what it's called. Um, all right. Can, <laughs> sneaky. Yeah, you can sneak through the ancient city so you don't wake up the war, warden who is the most terrifying character in video games. All right. What is, so we're doing WR. You have another, two. yeah, you got another wide receiver. Okay. I think that, um, gosh, this is hard. This is a hard one now. because we're. It's we, tough. It's definitely this, tough. This is a hard one. Um, I think I, I think I'm gonna put uh, Legolas there. Oh God! I'm sorry. I flipped. I got the flip. You really did. Like finally getting some good picks. <laughs> well, it's it's all because I flipped your. I, I called the flip on your Ralph's card perfectly. You um, really did. Same reason. I think the elves in this position are great. Um, yeah, also- you, they, they kind of dominate. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm really upset about that. You know, there's a world where if you have like a kick kickback character or whatever, like car- what what a kicker. If you need a kicker, like lost a kickback character. Shut up! I'm trying to speak like this I know is... what I'm talking about. <sighs> Classic chick. <laughs> I like them because they love each other. <laughs> Like, I don't want to play this card, but just like, if you ever have like a kickback character, like, oh my God, you're killing me. You're killing me. It's, it's, I love Jess so much, but this is the girliest draft. It's so funny. The story is just as important as their ability. I like them because they get along really well. The way that, listen, morale is important. And no, it is very important. And it if, is- if. If Legolas has Tariel's back, what's worse? There's nothing worse there. There's, it's so good. It's fair. Very fair. I, you're like, uh, even for your reasoning, it doesn't even matter your reasoning. You have two amazing wide receivers, so it doesn't 100%. matter. <laughs> like, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean I can't create a story. With It's true. <laughs> and then they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> she realizes she loves him, actually, after he catches the ball. Oh, my gosh. He's <laughs> Just gonna write a fan fiction after this one. I am. I will read it. All right. So who do I want? Took my. Th- that was literally my duo that I had picked out. I yeah. Those oh, two. but you didn't have a love story in mind, sure. Um, more like a like a a scandal romance, like behind the scenes. I like, see. Yeah. Um. So you know what? You drafted Legolas. 
I'm drafting the man with the better hair. I want to see him running down the field. This is wrong. No helmet. This is wrong. This is wrong. You think Thranduil's wrong? Oh, I thought you were going to choose somebody else, and I'm really glad that you didn't. Yeah, you're. Just, Thranduil you're... is who? Who's Thranduil? It's it. Uh, Legolas' dad, Lee Pace. Oh, I always forget the name. No, this is good. And you know what? You care for this man so much more than I do, and I'm so happy for you to have. This. And it's like I, I sent you that meme, or I posted on our on our page, where it's Ooh. just like every costume designer was like, "Yeah, you know, you kind of have to make measurements because you know actors are short." And then you have Lee Pace, the God, walk in who's six six with the perfect bone structure. And you're like, I got into this costume making business for this reason. Can to make you imagine this Thranduil in pads, like? And long, long blonde hair coming at the back of his helmet, like absolutely uh, a god amongst mortal men. And having him line up with Arwen on the other side, y'all not covering nothing. It's touchdown city. With Elrond at quarterback, it's game over, dude. Oh, it actually is over. (laughs) I don't think (laughs) I feel good about (laughs) any choices I made. Vormir is going to take a crap in the (laughs) first quarter. And and wide receivers are famously divas, like Terrell Owens. Oh, Oh, sure. So I have the perfect perfect diva. at at my wide receiver position. Wow, I'm upset. I'm a little upset. I wasn't thinking this. I didn't play the long game. Uh, God, I want to see Thranduil on the basketball court too, or like th- like a Randy Johnson throwing the the like a like a 150 mile per hour pitch. Oh God, him standing on the mound would be insane. <laughs> There's nothing like a tall pitcher, man. There's nothing like it, and his they are booty like would I- look good. Shohei Otani, who's like this, I think he's like 6'4", just jacked uh, Japanese baseball player. And he was, he was like an old school guy where he was pitching and like striking everybody out. And then he'd get up to bat and like hit a home run. So like I want to, he just got signed by the Dodgers for an insane, like $700 million. Yeah. Which is insane. That's actually Uh, insane. Uh, but, uh, I want to see him play if he, like, I'd, I'll see him like, just like obviously take a swing, but I'd love to see him like where he pitches. Cause oh, that's, that's, just... that's what they that's the spectacle. I think Dodgers do a pretty good job of like getting spectacle pitchers. Too. Oh yeah. Uh, For sure. and I think the Dodgers are still the number one most attended MLB. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Cause even though, I think it's just. The, the prestige of the – you'd think it's Yankees or something. It's been the Dodgers for a long time. I'm um, surprised about that. Yeah, it's interesting. So, yeah, you, you have a good bucket list, and we're moving right along to to what position? Linemen. These are the blockers. So you get one uh, one person that snaps the ball and then one person to block. Okay, so let's – really quick, since our, our audience isn't, um, like, looking at us, write it out. Let's just – list out who our offense was. So I'll okay. go first. Yeah. My QB is Boromir. My running back is Faramir. My wide receiver is Tariel. And my other wide receiver is Legless. I feel pretty good about this. It's not but, bad. It's not but bad. But not until I stop feeling good after you tell me what you were, you were My saying. quarterback is Elrond. My running back is Gimli. And my two wide receivers are Arwen and Thranduil. So I actually uh, am offended that we haven't even gotten Aragorn anywhere near this. But like, I know where I want Aragorn. I don't know if okay. I'll get him, but I, I gotcha. know exactly where I want him. Yeah, you're at a little bit of a deficit because I get to do the the pick first. So if yeah. I'm like, if like you'd explain the the care the role of the, the 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 position, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So anyway, let's we're moving on to defense now. No, no, no we have our linemen. Oh, they're the covering. I okay. I that's yeah, why I so wanted there to are blockers, read it out. So, so you get okay. you get two blockers, and you know, like we're just just pick two, pick your two blockers, and I'll pick my two. I understand. Okay. Well, I've sh- I don't think you want to do this, but um, I because I'm going to take Treebeard, which is a mistake, and I think I want Gollum. <laughs> Oh, you had it, you had it, and then you lost it. No, because I want Gollum to be intimidating and scare them. And it's like, oh, no, you could, I don't want to touch you. Because 100%, it could be Bayorn, 100%. It should be Bayorn. But I like Treebeard. Also, it's going to be really hard to pass over Treebeard. 
<laughs> just to be fair, that is an obstacle. But Gollum, I want him to be like scary and him like get behind. Like just as you think you're about to sack Boromir, Gollum gets you from behind. Like <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, that's where I, I exactly. It's a hundred percent. Is what I think. Oh, uh, that Treebeard one. That yeah, I, I knew you're gonna get that one. Yeah. You can't not get Treebeard for the line. Um. So for mine. Um, God, you took Boromir too. He would be great on the line. You're totally right. So you know what? I'm gonna get Sam Samwise oh. Gamgee as my center because okay. people he's low to the ground. Uh -huh. He can get some good blocks, and if not, he can just chop your chop your knees out. <laughs> sure, sure, he will. And then sure, my with with a pan. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then my other one, um. Hmm. I'm gonna get Thorin. Thorin Oakenshield as my other lineman. Interesting. You got some shorty. I could vault over these dudes. You could try. You underestimate them at your own peril. Thorin and Sam. I'm gonna write this down. All right. So I uh, my line's not the greatest, but you know what? My quarterback is just so good. And my running back and, like, everything. Like, I'll just pitch it to Gimli if, you know, Elrond's in trouble. He's And, again, Elrond's got foresight. He's going to see the blitz coming. So, you know, I'm not even worried. That's why I uh, can... That's actually I, sad that you have to, like, qualify that you know you guys aren't good enough. But at least you have other players that are good. Like, at least I have, like... We'll see who you get for pass rushing before I even worry about my offensive line. <laughs> honestly. Because I get to pick first for defense. <sighs> oh, is that how that works? Yeah, you don't get the first pick the whole time. Get out of dang, here. Dang, I didn't know. I didn't know. All right, All this right. is only fair. So since I'm picking first, we're going to pick safety first. So Wow, so what does a safety do? Just So safety, so like cornerbacks are going to line up right against the wide receivers and like guard them uh, sure. man to man for lack of a better term. Like, they're running um, the distance with the guy. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, the linebackers are, like, right behind the defensive line, kind of, you know, oh, where's the running back? Is the quarterback going to sneak out? Stuff like that. And and then the safety is over the top, kind of covering the whole field, like, running around, like, making sure, oh, uh, if someone get, gets beat uh, on a deep route, I got it. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So, their they're utility in, in yeah. every essence of the word. Okay. Wonderful. Absolutely. Okay. And no one's better at utility than Aragorn. This is Dang. why I wanted the first pick in defense. Dang. And this Dang. is who I wanted. And no one. This is the leader of the defense. He Dang. calls out everything. You're not you're not you're not getting a touchdown, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're not you're not beating me. <laughs> I have Aragorn Stop. leading the defense. I have Elrod leading my offense. It's over. This is making me so sad. You're being so mean to me. I know. <laughs> I get I get too competitive when it comes to this stuff. No, it's me too. And I, this is how I win is by making you feel bad. Because <laughs> I'm fine. But like, how dare you hurt my feelings? You know? Good. I yeah. Hope we don't get along. That's what that. <laughs> <laughs> now I wish I put go Gollum here. Um, all right. This <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I'd love it. I want to see it. All, all right, right Jess, so who is your safety? Who is leading your defense? You're totally right. The Aragorn is the exact right role for this, which makes Bard the second most right goal for this. Dang it. I wanted him at linebacker, but that's good. Bard it. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff right there. Because he's a leader, he see like he's not he he can shoot that arrow, bro. <laughs> Congrats you know? for getting Aragorn, the Aragorn we have at home, the Aragorn Stop. light. <laughs> Stop. We all need someone to believe in and to rally for. He's the Keanu, dude. He's the Keanu of the replacements. Don't even. Don't no, you're even. right. I, that you know what, Jess? That is honestly the best sports metaphor you've said. The Keanu of the replacements. That is actually really, really good. And this the, the most genuine compliment I I think I could ever give because that's a great great comparison. I know, and I feel good about it. Uh, all right, I got Bard. I feel good about it. 
It is insane that they got Gene Hackman for that movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> that movie, I to be fair, I love the replacements. I think it's, it's a so genuinely good. good sports it's so movie. Good. Reezy Fonz is the as the kicker is so funny. Um, Orlando is it Orlando Jones as the guy you can't right. catch. That's right. John Favreau randomly is like the co- like. There's so many good like character actors in that movie and then keanu's obviously like such a great movie go watch the replacements it's so great it's, i need to i spent and a then long they got time gene hackman it. for the coach i was like <laughs> what I was his paycheck was, it must have been insane i think that gene hackman was trying to do a few more movies before he wasn't good looking anymore and because like he he kind of knew tenenbaums was going to be like his last thing yeah and so i think he's like sure i'll be the coach like I, gene hackman's just seems like a down ass mofo <laughs> you yeah. know he just seems like a great dude um all right i feel good i feel great about bard i actually i'm not mad at bard better. at all no, i, I no. like if in a in a dream world i'd have him and like aragorn like at linebacker and just like have them like roaming like yeah run the ball i dare you <laughs> <laughs> totally okay so we're gonna go uh we'll go uh cornerbacks here so these are the guys covering the wide receivers okay okay like one v oneing the wide receivers so my first cornerback hmm Yeah, this is tough with who we have left. We have Gandalf left. We have Pippin left. Uh, we have Frodo left. We have Eowyn. Oh, Eomer. I shouldn't have done this. Theoden, Saruman. Haldir. Hal- Haldir. Bilbo. Bo- Bilbo. Celeborn, Celeborn Galadriel. Galadriel. Radagast. <laughs> and Mary. Uh, and Mary. Oh, and Bayorn. Because you didn't, did you go, did you grab Bayorn? I haven't grabbed Bayorn yet. Okay. I know I want Bayorn, but I don't know if I'll get him. Oh, do you? Um, so for my first cornerback, I am gonna go Galadriel. That's I, I just think that she shouldn't even be on a team. I just don't think she have should be on a team. Have fun trying to catch the ball, Toriel. Or you know what? Have her match up against Legolas. Either one. It don't matter. It don't matter. She's there's turning term, big and green. There's a term <laughs> in football jessica uh-huh. that we call okay. a lockdown corner and that's who gladriel is yeah you're being very condescending right now and i don't appreciate it she's just she's just trying to make me feel bad again guys <laughs> like <laughs> the <work>. gaslighting <laughs> the gaslight like, you almost had me the <laughs> gaslighting is so crazy right now <laughs> Don't get me in one of these games, bro. You don't even know who this you're is like up against. Oh my! I'm so glad we never played Among Us because we would have been <laughs> screaming at each other. It, it it was almost enough to make me not date Alex. How how scary good he is at like Among Us games like that. It's it, so the fact that we played it nightly of just like screaming and gaslighting and lying and just like. The worst type of thing is like, you're stupid. I'm not the imposter. Oh, my God. Shut up. Like I was telling this to my community. <laughs> absolutely. Like, I hate you so much. You're throwing this game. You're literally ruining this game for me. And then you win. You're the imposter. And you're like, okay, next game, guys. You're like, I, how do you recover from that? The fact that we play that nightly. I learned a lot about how I make – I went to Alex's house to meet his dad's side of the family and called his mother – his stepmother a manipulator. <laughs> the first game we were playing Mafia, I called her oh a manipulator. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then she said, how dare you bring this woman into our house? She came right back even dirtier. Love it. Love it. Was it was great. stepmom. Yeah. So, uh, so now I get to look at my corner here. This um, is your cornerback, Jess. I'm okay. I'm looking. I'm looking at your wide receivers, and you've got Arwen and Thranduil. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to think of like who would be. You can't. Off- okay. Oh, you don't think so? No. I'm going Bayorn. You just did that to spite me. You no. have, okay? Fine. Fine. Have fun. Have a fun bear? with this giant, lumbering, hairy oaf. You mean trying man to cover to bear? Man to bear who can choose what he wants cool. to be? You should have put him at linebacker or defensive line. <laughs> not trying to cover 
Are you? Oh my god! I'm dumb. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so mad that you did that just to spite me, and you know you did. It can be twofold. It can be. It can be twofold. It can be strategic and to get you. There's, he can. He can run so fast, so I hope, far. I hope you enjoy this moment while I'm up seventy to <laughs> zero on you. And I, you know what? Have fun time stamping that and editing that cuss word out. Because you deserve that, too. I'm going to make your job real <laughs> difficult today, baby. I'm so... Oh, my God. I'm so upset. Because I, I... Oh, I had it. I had him. I was going to get him. I strategically want Bayorn there. And you no, you don't. You, you can't you, be mad. Your strategy is to piss me off and it's working. <laughs> He can he's a he can be man to run or he can like intimidate and not even let the WB get there. The WB? The WR. Never <laughs> don't <laughs> And I'm Fine. a lady. Yeah. <laughs> the Bayorn. Oh my god. Oh. My this other is cornerback is Kelleborn. I got husband and wife locking oh. you down. Oh, I thought you don't like the romance or the story of it all. I didn't say I didn't like it. It's getting dirty now. We're getting dirty. Good. Right. Let's no, get great. dirty. <laughs> it's great. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to clean out your peaks. That's gonna be worse than me cutting out your f bums. Have fun. <laughs> you you have hit, fun. hitting the table. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I, this is how I get my get back is just making Jess do all the editing and, and it really post. it actually is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> okay, should have thought about that. <laughs> Can't wait till we're super famous and I can make this somebody else's problem. All right, so I get another one. Is that right? A one. Of yes, these? one more cornerback for you. I'll put Haldir. I think he can cover one of you. That's actually you good. Know. That's actually a good pick. At least I have one. <laughs> that can do you got work. one you got one <laughs> who can actually get his hands on the ball before you know maybe Galadriel does maybe maybe okay uh so my so we got linebackers now these guys are closer to the line they're picking up the running backs helping out with the receivers all that good stuff so my first linebacker is Aomer without a doubt I think that's right he is tough he is gritty he's gonna put his nose in it it's it's not even a question. This is a good uh, pick. That is a very good pick, and I'm going to follow up with getting Theoden because I don't know that there's another one besides Theoden. On I like it, honestly. Yeah, I don't think there's someone else on on this list that's left that can handle that job well besides Theoden and Aomer. You know what? You're right, but you know what? You know who I'm going to put next to him? Don't, don't do it. Aowen. That's upsetting. It's I upsetting know. to me. I knew you wanted her. I, I wanted, wanted her, but there wasn't anywhere that was like exactly right for her, though, too. You know what? I'm happy for you that you got someone who's like not right for the role, but at least you feel good about it. Yeah. You know what they said about that uh, when she was going to war? They said she wasn't right for that role either. Did I just set you up for the perfect comeback? <laughs> Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like you couldn't have t like Jess just like tossed up the alley oop. <laughs> And I just, <laughs> and I didn't do it genuinely. I didn't. No, do it. no. Like that was. Oh my gosh. That, I just ooh. hurt my sex <laughs> really badly. Like I'm the feminist on the podcast, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt Rafe. That's right. <laughs> wow. Okay, so who are we looking at next? Uh, you're you're uh another LB. It, yeah, you got one more LB, and then we got uh two defensive line. What does the defensive line do? So they're just rushing the quarterback, but you still have a linebacker. To you still have one more linebacker. Before. I understand. So I'm just trying to think of like who we have left and who I might want in those positions. All right. So left, we've got Gandalf, uh, Pippin. We got the four. Uh, no, Pippin, Frodo, and Mary. You got Sam. I did get Sam. Uh, we've got Saruman. We've got um, mm. Bilbo. Slim Pickens, man. Slim Pickens. We're getting down to it. I'm gonna just. I, I just want Gandalf, so I'm gonna put Gandalf on. He's the wrong choice. You know, hey, you know what? 
No, it's the wrong be- choice. We're slim pickings now, but I know uh, who do you have on your offensive line again? Don't do this. You've got Don't Treebeard and Gollum. Okay, so this is who I'm going against. This Treebeard is going to be oh, so hard to get around. I'm going around. I'm going up against Sam and Thorin. Yes. So my so I would essentially have Gandalf and Theoden going up against Sam and Thorin. I feel no, good about uh, that. No, they're they're linebackers. So your defensive linemen are going to be going up against uh, Sam and Thorin. Your next two picks. Oh 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 oh. Okay. So who I have going up against Treebeard and Gollum? Man, it really is slim pickings right now. Um, I'll go Saruman. I'll go Sorman on my... He's tall. I, you know what? Here's what's even better about this. I don't even know if you clocked this. Saruman was burning the forest of Treebeard. That's true. That That's the matchup you want to see. That's like the all-star, like, in the trenches matchup you want to see is Sorman in a three-point stance. Uh, do you know what a three-point stance is, Jess? Is it when they're, yeah, they're, they're on like, the, the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, just like eyeball... To like Treebeard, who's like spitting in the, in the towards squat. him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like you just like you, like you get the the steam like their horses like right before they race. Like oh my god, I it's can't snowing. wait. Snowing. Yeah, 100%. absolutely. A hundred percent. It's raining. The mud's coming up. It's in like that Zack Snyder slow motion. They're equally matched here because they're both equally uh, want something. You know, so yes. it's not like you get a super advantage or I do. They, it's, a, it's a perfect matchup. I feel good. About and, that. and like you see Treebeard's point of view, and you hear uh, Sorman in the background, "Burn the forest." And then you hear and you see Sorman's point of view, and he goes, "Break the dam." So you just hear like the <laughs> echoes of like all the wrongs that have been done to them right before they match up. Next time we're doing like a ready to rumble for all these. Oh, characters. for sure, absolutely. I do like uh, I. I thought about doing, uh, and I told Jess this of like a five on five basketball draft, and we might have to do that for like March Madness or something like that. Very fun, very fun. Because that uh, would that like our, you know, we're getting slim pickings here at the end, but five on five, that is going to be some elite uh, teams right there. You said it perfectly. It's it's bird and magic. You know, yeah. It's it's so good. It's so good. But this is this is even more delightful. I knew it was going to be great, but it's even more delightful than I thought it was going to be. I'm having a great time. So are you uh, going to do another DL again? Yeah, or? I'll do my other defensive linemen. And um, you know what? I'm going to go Radagast, uh, Bilbo. So basically, mm. I got Radagast and the Hobbits right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 not trying to help you, but it should be Bilbo because you're going I was going to go Bilbo. I was. I was going to go build. Oh, my God. What a matchup right here. That's what I'm I've saying. Got Sorman versus Treebeard and Gollum versus Bilbo. And, you and know Bilbo what? has the advantage on that. You know, you'd think that looking, but Gollum's got that wiry strength, honestly. But just from canon. Yeah, true. Like, all right. That's so all you've got means. two defensive wow. linemen. Wow. And I'm going up against Sam and Thorim. Yeah. Oh, I th- <laughs> I think I'm going to put Radagast in front of Sam. <laughs> 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 Two dummies. <laughs> Two big yes, old dummies. Absolutely. And I got Thorin, I think. Wow, this one's tough. And I'm looking at who I. I think I go Mary here over Pippin. I guess I was going to put I was going to put. Pippin, because Pippin's just so dumb. But Thorin's not dumb. He's just... No, I am going to go Pippin because they're both adolescents. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> they, are, they, they meet each other at the same height. I think Pippin, Thorin's taller. Or do you think, like, Pippin because of the, the Ent draft? Post-Ent draft. Yeah. 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 Post, post-Ent draft, and maybe a little more mature Pippin can handle it. Maybe. I mean... You can't go up against the Oaken Shield. You can't, like, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not fair. But, like, how, like, you know who's going to see the Oaken Shield, this tree bird, and be like, what the hell, bro? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> He's actually going to completely deter and go, go focus on a different place. Right. He's going to, like, get DQ'd immediately. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait. Yellow flag. It's so great. 
I just want a I, simulator for this so bad. Right? So, oh, man. I know it's out there somewhere. I know it's out there somewhere that you could do this. Uh, but let's go over our full teams. So, on offense, I've got – on quarterback, I've got Elrond. Jess? Boromir. At running back, I've got Gimli. And I've got Farmir. At my wide receivers are Arwen and Thranduil. And I have Tariel and Legolas. My linemen are Sam and Thorin Oakenshield. I've got Treebeard and Gollum. That's an insane <laughs> pick. It's, it's, especially uh, considering how many more people were left before I chose Gollum. It's yeah, actually, it's actually that insane. That was so wild. <laughs> like, if you would have done, like, like Treebeard and Bayorn, like, I wouldn't have touched your quarterback, honestly. Never. But I do think there's a strategy to Gollum. I really do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay. He's wiry. It's okay. I feel okay about it. All right. Uh, your at, safety. On my defense, my safety is Aragorn. The best pick of the team. I think so. I think you really, you really need I'm real. I'm glad I had Aragorn. Oh, and I got Bard. Uh, my cornerbacks are Galadriel and Celeborn, husband and wife duo. And yeah, you're right. Um, Be- Bayorn is dumb here. And uh, how oh, dear. S- speaking of husband and wife duo, did you see that pod? I know this is old news for social media. Did you see that? You know who Simone Biles is? Yeah. The Wait, hold on. Not the not the gymnast. Yes, the gymnast. Oh, Do you know okay. who her husband is? I No, I didn't even know she was married. Thank you. Exactly. And they they were like on a podcast and I think they like matched on Raya, which is like, you know, the celebrity dating app. Yes. Yes. And he's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know who, who she was. I, and I saw her Instagram and I was like, oh, she, I, I don't, I can't even remember what he says, but just like, and then uh, the guy was like, oh, so you think you're the cat? She's like, oh yeah, she pursued me. And everyone's just like, sir. No. No one's saying, and I guess he plays for the Packers. So he's also a professional athlete, but. Sir, this is Simone Biles, the best gymnast in possibly the history of the sport. Um, and, and also like, just like a, like a motivator for like a champion of like mental health and all that. Like, yes, like t- you are Simone Biles' husband. She is not. I think his name is Jonathan Owens. Why? No one knows like, this no. person. No one knows like, this person. And like, it's like that's why was he Galadriel being facetious? Caliborn. No, he was dead serious. Because I can give the benefit of the doubt to someone's like, yeah, you know, I bagged that as a joke. You know what I mean? No, he was absolutely serious. That would be like Alex going, oh, yeah. Well, I did pursue him, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, it's just, I, I remember that just like, thinking of a Celeborn and Galadriel, like, just really brought out the, that, like, that is, I, uh, that is Galadriel's husband. 100 <laughs> She, ch- she chose to have that. You know what I mean? Yes. He did not earn that relationship. No, not at all. Wow. Also, just don't say that. Just don't. It's yeah. A, it's very easy to just not say that. that. Like, I don't think Celeborn's going around trying to prove his toxic ma- masculinity. No. You know what I mean? Celeborn is just happy to be there. That's exactly Right. As any of us would be. <laughs> he's no slouch. And I'm sure this Packers bro is no slouch either. But he's not Simone Biles. He's not Simone Biles. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, so you're saying you had a bad pick in Caliborn? I understand how you feel. Mm, I so, had no bad picks. Uh, it's not true. Uh, next is your linebacker. And that's Aomer and Aowen. It's very good. I feel, I, I actually am sad I don't have Aomer. Uh, oh uh, yeah, it just isn't sad that she doesn't have Awen because she doesn't believe in the feminist agenda. No big I don't deal. Think Moving she... on. <laughs> I she live believes it, dude. that Awen doesn't uh, quote belong there. Mm, I don't. Be- I don't believe it. I just live it, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to believe something that is. <laughs> It's like faith, bro. Um, okay, no. I got LB. I got Gandalf, which is so weird. And I've got Theoden. I but you have to, to get Gandalf on the field, you know? Absolutely. It's the right pick. But uh, he's, like, not like... showing up to half the game. But, like, he's also, when he does show up and, like, he sees Gimli coming around the corner, he's like, you shall not pass. He's going <laughs> to <Yeah>. tackle him. <laughs> totally. He's going to lose his sword but then regain his sword somehow. Some, somehow. Somehow. <laughs> 
Uh, and then for my defensive line, I've got Saruman and Bilbo uh, going up against Treebeard and Gollum, which is the matchup of the century. Like, it's truly, so good. The fact that the linemen take center stage for the matchup is truly the most football thing ever. It's so great. Right, because like uh, the QBs going up against each other, there's no story there. I mean, except for like Elrond. The elves kind of know that Vormir's not going to make eh, it, you know, but it's kinda. not like... But yeah. he's like cowering under them. So maybe this wasn't, you really did get the one up on me. But then I got Radagast <laughs> and Pippin going up against uh, Sam and Thorin. Radagast is going to get suspended for <laughs> for his drug test. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he's going to get bird poop on the field. And Sam's going to oh, be God, like, yeah. bird, Sam's going to try and collect it for fertilizer. You know what? This is not your dad's <laughs> Samwise Gamgee, okay? <laughs> This is not uh, like I said on Instagram. All my homies hate Ralph. Okay, you don't, wow. you don't mess with Ralph with Ralph Bashki's Samwise Gamgee. Wow, we don't. It's true. All right, I I think you win, but I think I put up a good fight. No, honestly, I, I swear, Jess, you had the offensive line. Did <laughs> you win for both? I still think it. I I wouldn't change it, dude. I know that the ba- I I know Bayorn was the right choice, but I still wouldn't change it. And w- imagine Bayorn chasing down Galadriel, chasing if her down. If you put Bayorn, like I obviously I wanted Bayorn. If you put him at linebacker, amazing pick. You put him at defensive line, amazing pick. You put him at cornerback, he's going to get roasted. <laughs> He can run, dude. He followed the dwarves all the way to Mirkwood. He's like hoofing it. He ends people. He's a b- he. He was up against orcs all by himself. This is a bad dude. I think I did the right. He's utility man. I think you know what. The only other thing I would have changed is like maybe him and Bard. He could be like Bard's gear, like role as a safety. He nah, probably would have. Uh, Bard Bard seems perfect as safety for me. A hundred percent. But he could have done it too. I think you're. I think you're really not giving Bayorn the credit he deserves. Anyway, I there's several different. Permission. There's several different things you can do in order to yell at us about our picks or agree with us. Or if you could speculate on who won this match, you can go over to our Discord. There's a link in the liner notes and you can yell at me there. You can literally at me. You can go to our Twitter at, uh, I think it's Pod of the Rings and our Instagram, which is Poterpod, P-O-T-R-P-O-D. Or you could support us. On our Patreon. Which you could. We, we would you could great, support us. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. You get to hear, rather than having muffled out Ben's F-bombs and see pictures of his cat. Oh, okay, it was one. This is still rated PG-13. I'm just, I'm just like, feeding into the energy you gave me is all. That's yeah, like, absolutely. At, at uh, patreon.com forward slash podcast of the rings at $5, you get to watch this podcast at like $3 or something. You get it before everyone else does. That's a really low amount to support. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Think $5 a month, $3 a month, just to support like two dorks who really enjoy making this show for you for free. And Shout out Arsenal Roy 2K because Jess always forgets to. <laughs> I don't always forget, but I mostly forget. Uh, for being a, a, a bearer of the nine rings of men, it gets a, an official shout out during our podcast for being such. Uh, you can follow Ben at Twitch, wait, TTV Strider, Strider. with yep. uh, S-T-R-I-D 3-R on Boom. Twitch. Or you can follow him at Ben Goddard on TikTok. I think that's. I think that about covers it. I think that about covers it, guys. We'd really appreciate your support. And if you can't monetarily support us, that's totally okay. Give us five stars on whatever podcast form you're listening to. That helps greatly as well. And leave it a comment. Is. That's also free. Yeah, we're on. We can you leave comments on YouTube and all those things. So anyway, yeah, just do that and just do it. Until next time, Ben. May our linemen meet again. Thank you.